Hello, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week ahead whenever you are finding it. First, you have faith with the third eye chakra, and I feel like you're really connecting with spirit guides, ancestors, and just spirituality in general this week. You may be doing more meditation, walks, journaling. This is something I've been seeing a lot in the collective recently, just this increased sense of self-care and nurturing the relationship that you have with yourself. So that is beautiful. And we see so many different spirits offering you some sort of gifts and protection, which is so amazing. Like you are surrounded by your guides. You are surrounded by great, beautiful energy. And I wouldn't be surprised if you had some sort of gifts or blessings coming forward for you this week. You have yin coming out, beautiful, divine, feminine energy. And I'm going to read this for you from the book so you have a great understanding of what this card is trying to say. I've been doing that for the other signs. So let's see. This is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming for you, ready to accept it when it appears. Yin does not involve fro frozen dreams or even resting, but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. It implies sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others and contemplate how they will affect you and yours. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear. Be the shaped and not the shaper. <laughs> and you'll see how quickly your dreams manifest. Wow, that is so beautiful. I feel like you're in a state this week where you are just creating more space. Some of you may literally be cleaning, meditating, which is clearing space in your mind, and not overstimulating yourself with all of the distractions of modern day society, such as social media and constant, constant stimulation like TV and caffeine and, and everything going on around you. You're quieting your mind, clearing space and allowing room for blessings uh, and wisdom to come through, which is beautiful. And then you have the fox spirit coming out. Beautiful indeed. This is earth energy. You're getting really grounded and very witty, very smart. I don't know why I'm seeing things like comedy and reading. So some of you may be reading a lot more this week or seeing some sort of comedy show or um, watching comedy, writing comedy. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing a lot of like communication as well. So phone calls, FaceTimes, things like that. Writing letters. I don't know if anyone still does that. That's beautiful. Uh, and just really in indulging in your ability to communicate well. Okay. <laughs> and take in new information as well. So we're going to get six cards, two rows of three from the Light Seers Tarot to get further information on this week ahead for you. First card out is the Fool in reverse. And this always talks about sort of delaying a new journey from happening, staying still and over preparing for a new chapter, over contemplating. Um, so let's see what else comes out and see what the story is saying here. We have the three of wands in reverse. There's definitely some sort of goal or wish fulfillment um, that you're looking to manifest in life. But like I said, it feels like you're over preparing for it and you just need to get started. This feels like a really good idea that you have for yourself. Some of you guys, this will be different for all of you. This could be like a trip you really want to go on. And it's like, instead of thinking about it, start planning it, you know? This could be an idea that you have in your head. Maybe some of you want to write a novel or get into stand-up comedy. And Spirit is saying, you know, the time has come for you to just sign up for it or just start it, just begin it. And once you sort of start taking action, you'll have much more motivation and pressure, positive pressure, to keep going and actually take the actions necessary to enjoy this journey and make progress on this journey. Third card out is the Page of Swords in reverse, which again talks about communication, but this actually is showing a blockage in communication. And again, the message here is to just get started and don't strive for perfection. I feel like for some of you, 
taking on this perfectionist attitude is actually blocking your creativity. It's blocking your ability to make progress because, you know, you're, you're trying to outline every single chapter. Like, let's just say you're writing a book or you want to write a book. You're trying to outline every single chapter and figure out the whole story in one sitting before you even begin writing. And Spirit's saying, what if you just started writing and you know what, if you hate it, you could delete it. You know, like just get started though. Just take the action. It's so much easier once you get started started. Second row of cards out, fourth card is the three of swords in reverse. Yeah, I'm seeing actually a lot of healing for you guys here, pulling the swords out of your heart, a situation that required some mourning or a, a really challenging loss or betrayal that happened in the past that you were kind of trying to overcome and maybe it took away some of your motivation and you needed some time to rest. I feel like you're coming out of that and spirit is saying like you're coming back to life and now is the time to get back on your grind, to, you know, be creative, take action in life. You, it's almost like you needed a few weeks or even a few months of just relaxing and being sort of lazy, I guess you could say, um, in order to heal and process, uh, which was great. Like you needed that, it was fine. Um, and I feel like you are starting to feel like you're ready. You're ready to start, you know, putting yourself out there again or, um, you know, just, just pushing yourself creatively. We have the page of pentacles in reverse. This reading is just singing in perfect harmony, kind of saying the same message over and over and over again of just get started. Take literal physical action towards an idea that you have. Okay. This feels very creative. All right. Some of you may be thinking, like actually right now, get out a piece of paper and write down all of the ideas that you have in your mind. You know, it could be like starting an Instagram account where you could share your recipes. It could be starting a book club. It could be writing a book. It could be learning how to surf. You know, there's so many different things, baking bread. I don't know, <laughs> write it all down and literally pick one and just get started. That's the message of this week. This week is all about just initiating, getting started. And you know what? I, I've recently been feeling this collective message come up where, and, and this is coming from um, the goddess Sekhmet. She really was communicating with me this past week and was showing her big divine plan to help heal the masses. And you know, bring humanity to a much more balanced state. And um, I'm like, share all of your wisdom with me, you know? And she recently shared the need to stop overstimulating ourselves. We are so overstimulated in today's society. We have social media constantly releasing dopamine and feel-good hormones in our brain. Uh, we have TV shows, we have video games, we have caffeine, we have porn, we have all of this stuff to constantly keep ourselves stimulated. And because of that, it's it's a huge distraction. And we're not even allowing ourselves the time to get those feel-good hormones from where we're supposed to be getting them from, such as exercise and creating. You know, we're just in this society where we're constantly consuming, but we as humans, we're designed to create. And of course, enjoy other people's creation but I, I just feel like when you get all of your feel-good hormones from consuming these high dopamine, highly stimulating, overly stimulating sources, it's preventing you from seriously taking action on building the life that you want to build. Because if you have all of your feel-good hormones, you know, you're not going to feel motivated to keep searching for more and chasing them from places that do not release as much. Does that make sense? So for example, if you sit down and play a video game, it's, you're putting in like almost no effort. You know, it's a very easy thing to do. You don't even have to leave your house. You don't have to move. And you get flooded with all of this dopamine and feel good chemicals. So why would you do something that takes a little bit more effort to get those same chemicals, such as writing a book and feeling accomplished by that or starting a community um, or going out and taking a walk in the sunshine, why would you get those hormones that your, brain's, your brain needs from one of those healthier places when you can get much more of it from a place that requires no effort? You know, it's just when you start cutting these things out of your life, such as social media, 
and video games. And now I'm not saying stop entirely if you don't want to. I'm not telling you what to do at all. You can keep going for all I care. But I just feel like you want to manifest so many good things for yourself. You want to, you have so many b big and beautiful dreams for yourself and you're wondering why you keep lacking the motivation to just get started. Or like, when will it happen for me? And, and Spirit is saying, you need to get rid <laughs> of everything that's distracting you from that straight up, you know? So there's that message. Final card out is the King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, very spiritual card. This could be someone in your life, an older masculine energy. They could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They don't have to be though. And, um, you know, I'm actually kind of seeing that this may be another form of distraction for you actually, whoever this person is. And this could just be a collective energy in your life of constantly distracting yourself with toxic relationships or friendships or drama that other people bring into your life or constantly chasing the high, the thrill of romance and um, trauma bonds, to be honest. And a trauma bond isn't bonding over trauma, like a lot of people think. It is a, an addiction, really, to someone because they essentially give you high highs and low lows. They're here for you, they're loving you, they're showering you with attention and everything you want. And then, you know, they fall into these low lows where they're either absent entirely, toxic, um, abusive, anything. And it creates an addictive cycle where you're constantly chasing those high level of feel good hormones. And we keep talking about hormones in this, in this reading. So clearly there's a message here for that. Uh, with you where you need to stop chasing and distracting yourself really with these high highs of hormones because they're going to give you low lows essentially and spirit's trying to like balance things out for you so where you source your feel-good hormones is very very important and spirit wants you to source them from going after your creative dreams, taking action on them, going out into the sunshine and nature, having real, authentic, healthy relationships. You know, all of these things that I just listed, they are not going to release as much feel-good hormones as other sources such as toxic relationships and video games and social media and all of that overstimulation, like it really just distracts your consciousness. And Spirit's saying, what if we had more of a well-balanced abundance of these sources that are calmer and stable and good for you? So I don't know. That's your reading, guys. Thank you for joining me. Definitely watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this week ahead. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below, and subscribe to, to the channel if you've not already. Uh, if you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.